So as for this video, I'm gonna teach you how to install XCSS 1.3, which is an upscaling technology like FSR or the LSS in every single game. Well, well not, not every, every single, single game, game exactly, exactly, but in every single game where XCSS is already presented. Basically, games where, where you have the first XCSS version or XCSS 1.1 or XCSS 1.2. In those specific games, you can just go and in one minute or even less than one minute, it's like challenge accepted, I can guarantee you that you can update it to the XCSS 1.3 version, which is much better in terms of motion clarity, in terms of ghosting, and even in terms of defined lines. It is overall much better, and I will bring you a video even, maybe even today, uh, comparing native versus XCSS 1.1 or 1.2 versus 1.3 and including FSR as well, because in some scenarios the difference is really big. Like for example this short part that you're seeing right now in the screen, where for example XCSS 1.1 versus XCSS 1.3 not only has more FPS, but also has way less shimmering in Spider-Man Remastered. And yeah, you can do this process of updating the upscaler technique without the need of the developers implementing that same upscaler in the game. Although there are some recent things that XCSS 1.3 brings in the kit that are not presented in this method. For example, XCSS 1.3 brings new quality presets with the ultra quality plus, ultra quality and so on instead of just having the ultra quality and quality. Basically, the new ultra quality is the ultra quality plus, um, the ultra quality is now the quality and well things changed and it also brings native anti-aliasing with XCSS Something that is not presented with this method But you can indeed update the upscaler and it will look much better in most scenarios So as I said before about the one minute challenge accepted So all you have to do is go to Google and search for XCSS 1.3 GitHub Then you have the GitHub releases for example of XCSS you open it and then you have the latest SDK for um, XCSS 1.3. Then you go here on the assets and you download the, S the XCSS SDK 1.3.0. Download it, put it on your desktop for example and just grab these folders that you have here. Create a new folder for example or just extract like the one that I have here. Extract to OK and now you have an XCSS SDK folder. You open the folder, then you go to the bin folder and this is the file that you need to copy into anything that you want to update. After this, you just go to the folder of the game that you want to update. For example, in my case, let's update Spider-Man. You can go to the game's folders, Steam apps, Common, Marvel Spider-Man Remastered, here it is. And you search for the same file and here it is libxcss.dll in order to not have the f the folder or the file well getting corrupted or something like that just go and rename it to dot old lib or live xcss dot dot dll dot old and then copy the new one to the same folder and it is done this is basically everything that you need to do to update the XCSS to the newest 1.3 version and it works. Once again, as passing right now on the screen, uh, it does work and it fixes the, the shimmering in some scenarios, it fixes in others the ghosting and so on, so on, so on. And it basically takes one minute. It's a really, really easy process and then bam, done, 1.3 enabled. In some cases, uh, the leave XCSS file might not be here in the root folder. I believe The Witcher does not have the, the leave XCSS file in the root folder of the game. As you can see, it isn't here. But if you go to the bin, and I believe X64, the X12, you open the folder and the file should be here exactly. So the file is not on the root folder of The Witcher 3, but it is here inside the bin X64, the X12. Here it is, once again, dll.old paste the new file and you're good to go and that's basically it guys if you want to watch some more comparisons in between these three upscalers uh, or at least the different versions of these upscalers like fsr maybe even native taa we'll have in the end of this video comparison with no commentary that will be also included on the next video that i will do comparing uh, all the upscalers but now with commentary and more games of course and if you want to help the channel even more lay an eye onto the sponsor 
Today's video sponsor is GVG More. Bringing you lots of software deals like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2019 or 2021 with a new Windows 11 design. And for all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 30% off, getting a Windows 11 serial key for $22 and a Windows 10 one for only $15. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system. And well, guys, that's it. Thank you for watching. Hope you really enjoyed the, the video and the fast tutorial. And well, to finalize, let's finally see uh, the, the XSS versions comparison. See you in the next video, guys. Cheers. Oh, and by the way, leave your comment in the comment section and let me know if you were able to do it or not. And if you have any doubts, leave them in the comment section as well. And tell me if you can really notice the difference in between XCSS 1.1, 1.2 versus 1.3, because in some games, the difference is really there. Like, for example, Horizon Forbidden West. Thank you once again and see you in the next video. Cheers.